What's up guys, this is Jake. Today we're doing a quick review on the Paco Rabanne 1 million fragrance for men. Now this is a very interesting clone. So I want to show you guys uh, the bottle itself. Then I'm gonna talk about my experience with it. Then I really want to address some questions I see a lot of people asking and hopefully can give you some clarity on before you actually purchase it yourself. So first things first, let's take a look at it. One million, you can see down here, everything else. So uh, this is this is one of my favorite colognes. Now I'm, I love colognes, I have a lot of them. Uh, I really like mixing it up. And the reason I say this is one of the most unique colognes that I've ever had is because it's, it's just not a neutral. It's not something that like I've ever had anyone be neutral about the smell. Um, so first time I ever heard of this, it was a friend of mine in college who got more compliments than I have ever seen from literally anyone about any cologne before. Um, I know seven or eight girls who fell in love with this cologne. Uh, a couple of them even had the guys they were dating get this cologne because they loved it so much. It's a it's a pretty strong smell. It's a very sweet smell to it. Um, and everyone that I've ever come across has a very strong opinion on it, that they absolutely love it. Um, and most of the time, if someone, in my experience at least, doesn't love it, it's simply because it was sprayed on too heavily. So it is pretty strong. I, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So I want to answer a couple questions that I see people asking. Last thing before I do, um, this is this has kind of become like my go-to date cologne. Uh, it is, I, I like to phrase it this way, it is a slightly risky cologne. Um, I have a handful of like daytime colognes where it's always going to smell good. It's always going to be a good fragrance, but it's never going to pop. It's never going to stand out. It's never going to leave an impression. That is absolutely not the case with this clone. It will leave an impression. In my experience, like 90 plus percent of the time, it's been very, very good impression. Um, but it does, uh, it does pop. It does stand out. And it is going to make an impression, which is why I think it's an excellent date clone or anytime that you want to make an impression. I think this is a really good one to go with. So a couple questions I see people asking about it. Um, first one is, is this for men or women? This is specifically a clone for men. Um, the other question I saw a lot of people asking, and this is where I'll dive in a little bit more, um, is, is this clone intense? Um, so I think the play is to start off with just one good full spray. Typically what I like to do is two very light sprays on both sides of my neck and kind of spread it around. Um, and to me, that is, it comes, it, it is very strong on spray. It calms down a little bit uh, fairly quickly, and then it lasts for a very long time. Another thing I love about this cologne is it's not going to be gone in 30 minutes. You don't have to overspray. You can spray one or very light two, um, and you're going to keep that smell for a long period of time. Um, and I only think it's overwhelming to begin. So recommendation is when you first spray, just go light on it. Um, and then if you want to adjust, make it stronger later, get people's recommendations on the strength, you can do that. But guys, I highly recommend trying this cologne. Again, it is uh, sweet. It is going to leave an impression. Uh, and if that's what you're looking for in a cologne, you cannot go wrong with this one.